Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm in North Yorkshire in Whitby to go and check out a best rated hotel that's had over 2,700 views with headlines like surpassed expectations, awesome just go and a hidden gem on the Yorkshire coast. I had to go and check out Wraithwaite Hall. Well, as you can see, I've turned up on a rather wet and windy evening. So let's hope uh, a warm welcome awaits. I don't think I need to use that. I tried that once with um, some sketches, it ruined them. Wow, this is nice. Wow, look, it's so posh, they have their own concierge. And where is reception or is this reception? Hello. Once again I've turned up, there's nobody nobody about. So I've just realised this is not the main reception, this is just the annex, so I need to drive just a little bit further up there to find out where I'm staying. To be honest, I did think that didn't look that big as what I saw on the website. So apparently it's further up here. Must be this way then. Nice walk through the forest. Let's hope it is this way. So it'll be interesting to see whether they've put me in the annex or they've put me in the main building. We'll find out. Hi, uh, just checking in please. It's the end of one day. 12.08, okay. All right, brilliant, thanks very much. Off to the annex. See, that's the, the restaurant. We'll have a look at this building and the spa in a little bit, because I'm gonna go for a swim. It closes about eight o'clock, so we'll go and uh, check out the room first. Just dropped my blooming card. Oh, I've just noticed that the card, wood, thin bit of plywood. Getting deja vu. Chess boards down there. One, two, oh, eight. And it's two rooms behind this door. Oh, I see. Using my very posh room key. I've never seen these made out of little bits of thin, I don't know whether it's plywood or what it is. I'm walking in. <laughs> There's no bedroom in sight. I did only order a double room. There's some more lights here. Oh, I thought there was like a little booklet. That's somewhere to keep my key safe. What we've got over here, as always, I need to have some lamps on. There's the switch. Interesting mirror. Now that is what you call a nice leather chair. So I've got myself a little workstation. I can call reception from here. Can I get room service? Whoa, it's wireless. In fact, now it just needs one of those antennas to come out the top, isn't it? So there's my workstation with a very nice leather seat. I've got a nice couch here. Let's do the couch test. Very nice. The only thing that is missing from this couch is cushions. Felt a little bit empty. Do you know what? I've always wanted a sofa in my bedroom. Gabby thinks I'm weird. A sofa in your bedroom, if your room's big enough, of course. I'm surprised with a hotel like this that the air conditioning is like that and it wasn't built in because this looks like a new build. So quite surprised about that. This room is costing me 200 pounds. A night. Now I've also got a balcony, a tiny little balcony. Looks like I'm in a castle. So if I wanted to sit out on the balcony I could. There's no light out here which is a little bit of a shame. Just shut that up because it is extremely windy out there. So let's do the bed test. Oh the bed 
is very comfy and very springy. There's a mosquito in here. It's November and there's a mosquito in here. No, that was a, f a, f a fly. Why do I have a feeling that that fly is gonna be annoying me all night long? Can you see it? Is it showing up on the camera? It's flying right around me now. You know what I'm like, noticing things. For Posh Hotel, bit of a shame. It's got a nice leather cushiony headboard. These look like marks, don't they? But, oh, I hate pillows like this. Do hate. Yeah, I do hate feather pillows because I assume that's what all that is. Some people like them. The reason why I don't like it, right, is when you lay your head in it, it's nice that your head sinks in it, but I find I get really hot and sweaty in the night because I've got no breathable space. I think this might be two beds pushed together. Not overly impressed by the bed, I have to say. So let's have a look in here. Ooh, it's got a nice wardrobe. Why is it they put their hands in the pockets? <laughs> that kind of creeps me out a little bit. I feel like where I've been put, obviously when this was designed, but slight bit of waste of space here. So I've got the choice of having a bath, very nice, or a shower. What's, what's interesting about that is the shower head is quite small for the size of the shower. I've been into some hotels and it's an absolutely huge shower head. Once again, the nails are coming through the plasterboard. Nicely polished though. And I've got my free products. I've got conditioner, shampoo, bath and shower gel, and some hand lotion. And of course, some nice soap. Summer rising. Again, how many people still need to use those? Mine is all battery operated, so I'd actually appreciate like a, a plug or a USB in here. It wouldn't be complete without a tea station just behind me. So I've got some complimentary water. Oh good, I've got two bottles of still water. Some nice glasses. These are kind of cute, the way they put all the, the coffee. Tea, obviously it's got to be Yorkshire tea in there. A coffee bag. Oh right, okay, never seen those before. Reminds me of Bullseye when you get the prizes in the cups. I've got, I've got some cookies, hot chocolate, cuddle in a cup. Definitely gonna have one of those. I'll probably try and sit on the balcony a little bit later in my dressing gown for the experience. And a tiny little kettle. And respectable, no lime scale in there. I know um, this area of Yorkshire gets a lot of hard water issues. So when some hotels say, well, it's the, the area, that's been scaled regularly. It sounds weird, but I can't put my finger on it, but this room is lacking something. Tell me what you think in the comments. And for the size of the room, slightly disappointed with the size of the television. I thought that would be just a little bit bigger. Now, the reason why I'm being over picky is obviously 200 pound a night on a hotel room is a lot of money. And bearing in mind, this is out of season as well. So you can only imagine how expensive it probably will be. But we're gonna experience the whole hotel. Whether or not I'm going for breakfast, I don't know. I'm not doing the evening meal because let's face it, I've spent 200 pounds on this hotel room. I probably can't afford it, but we'll have a look around and also head into the swimming pool. Let's go. So the most annoying thing is to get to the swimming pool, I've got to take a trip. So I've got to wait for my lift. Apparently I can get a drink over here. Those are huge lampshades. Is that a real banana plant? I think it might be. So all these pictures are actually for sale. Thanks a lot. Hiya. Hello there. Just want them to the main house. Yes, please. Have you got a towel? Because this is absolutely soaked back is here. It? My bum's good. completely soaked. It's been walking in there and people think I've wet myself. Can I sit on the towel? Because that's still really wet. Yeah, sure. Lovely. Thanks very much. There's a real fire. I can warm my bum up. Let's head to the spa. Good evening. We've got tons of plastic to help you with your 
Oh, brilliant. Okay. I was going to say, do I have to pay for that? Fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Good to know there's nobody else in here. The lockers are like little doors. Kind of cute. Here we go. I haven't got my GoPro with me, but I'll just use this camera for now. Wow, it is very quiet. Look how still that water is. Again, there's something missing, I feel. I don't know quite what. I always find it really strange when you see um, some beds that you get abroad in swimming pools. So we've got some complimentary water here. We've got a steam room. Woo! Not going in there. Obviously not good for the camera. And a sauna room. Oh, that is lovely. Can't say I've ever seen a shower like this. And a shower like this in the pool area. So the water comes out either side and also gushes out like a waterfall. Just turn this on. <laughs> and then it should come out of there as well. That'll get you clean. I can't believe I've actually got the call to myself. No, going like this. Oh. Wow. And before you ask why no one else is in here, it's probably because it's around about seven o'clock, the weather outside is all full, and everyone is probably having dinner. I'm the only one going swimming. Okay, whose idea was it to have air conditioning in a changing room, especially when you've got out of a warm pool in the autumn? Not a good idea. So just before I go to bed, I thought I'd sit on the balcony. Can't see much of a view from here though. So let's go and quickly explore the gardens. The gardens are quite nice. Little bridge look going over the river. But those apartments would be nice to stay in over there. Look at that. I'm sure a lot of people have got married underneath there. Look at that hedge. So that's the lake house. I think you can stay in there. It absolutely covers quite a few acres. Wraithwaite, Celtic for hill in the water. It was built in the late 19th century. Just to get a bit of perspective, I was literally in the keep. The main hall is here. And I'm right now just over here in the lake, but lovely area to walk around to. And if you want to, you can even walk to Whitby this way as well. So when you book these hotels, it doesn't really give you an idea about where you're actually staying, which is a little bit of a shame, unless I didn't see that and didn't read the small print. But uh, I felt like I was um, shoved over in the keep and it would have been nice to have stayed actually in the hall. But maybe it's because of the price of the rooms. So the Rathwaite Hotel, it's actually a really nice hotel. I was gutted that I didn't get to stay in the main residence, the main hall, but to be honest, I kind of like it over here and I really do love this balcony and the fact that I'm right in the corner, I feel like it's really nice and private and I can't really hear anyone. The rooms were ultra quiet. This is not the hotel's fault, but there was like two or three flies that I just could not get out of the room. They were buzzing around my head all night long. The bed was ultra comfy. I did have to change the pillows because I don't like the feather pillows personally, but they had no problems changing them for me. The only problem with being this side is that everything is over there 
say, yes, there is a little bar area and a chess area and a games area downstairs, but obviously everything else is over there, including the restaurant. So that means, for example, for breakfast, I've got to get up and get all the way over there. Yes, they do give you a little bit of a taxi service. The only problem with that, like last night, when it was raining and it was really windy. Now, I haven't eaten the restaurant, so I can't comment on the food just purely because of the price. Obviously, I paid £200 uh, a night for this room, so I'm trying to stay under budget. The breakfast for me was a little bit too expensive for what it was. I think it was like £18. The swimming pool was nice, and if you want to go when no one else is in it, go later on in the evening, and it's quite a nice experience. The only problem I had was the air conditioning in the changing room. What was that about? <laughs> you come out of the swimming pool and the air con on. The room itself was nice, but it kind of lacked just some... I don't know what it was. I did like the sofa, the little workstation. The bed, although it was comfy, it didn't look as luxurious as I thought it would be. No problems with the bathroom whatsoever. I had a really lovely bath. The fact you can stay between the sea and the moors, I really like that. So you can go and explore the North York moors and, of course, the beautiful Yorkshire coastline. Obviously, when I checked in, it was dark, so it was very confusing to where I was to go. The fact that I had to come here, go over there to check in, and then come back again because, well, there was no one on the concierge desk. I didn't know whether they checked people in here. Seems a bit stupid to go all the way over there to check in and then come back, especially when the weather was like it was last night. Don't forget, if you want to see more of the best rated, click on the screen right now. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.